Welcome back to Pop Up Tech Talks. I'm your host, Mike Turner, here at Insight 2017. Here with Mike. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Michael Archuleta. I'm the Chief Information Officer with Mount San Rafael Hospital. Thanks for being with us here. So we were chatting a little bit earlier about cybersecurity and how it can't just be an afterthought these days. It really needs to be embedded into a culture of an organization. Tell me what you're seeing. Absolutely. So the thing is, is I work in the healthcare industry. So healthcare, if you look at healthcare, we're really at times, you know, behind the curve when it comes to technology. Of course, with the advancements of the electronic medical record systems and really the Affordable Care Act coming out, we've really boosted up our efforts in technology. But you figure, healthcare organizations right now are one of the most attacked sectors out there. I was, you know, I was telling you, Mike, that uh, there was a national poll that came out that stated that 43% of individuals don't even know what ransomware is. So if you have that high of a number, then you basically try to incorporate to see if, hey, what's ransomware? What's, you know, cybersecurity? What's a breach? What's HIPAA? What's high tech? These individuals at times have no idea. And if you're not focusing on your people for cybersecurity education awareness towards them, that's an issue. Because at the end of the day, I always say, your employees hold the keys to your organization. We always look at technology process people. We never focus on the people, and that's my thing. My thing is completely different. It's people, process, technology. I think if we focus on those specific elements, we will be more secure and we'll be more successful at what we basically do as well, too. That's awesome. I think this really came to light when WannaCry hit. I think that opened a lot of people's eyes, and we're going to start seeing a lot more of the transformations. So tell me more about patch management and what people can really need to start implementing in their orgs to, to get themselves covered, get to cover their bases. Absolutely. So, number one thing is patch management. Ladies and gentlemen, it's patch, 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 and patch. I mean, it's <laughs> please patch. I mean, it's it's crazy because the thing is, is I've done some consulting work before and gone into several organizations and looked at misconfigurations, issues with patch management. Of course, as I stated, cybersecurity employee awareness is really critical as well too. And kind of explaining to you too, Mike, is you need to incorporate cybersecurity into the culture of the organization. It needs to start from the top down. And you really need to have a storyline behind it when you speak to the board of directors, administration, etc. Because when I start talking about technology, cybersecurity, ransomware, at times they're like, what's this guy talking? He's talking Greek. You know, speak to them on a level where they understand operations. What does it affect? operations what does it affect financially what can a breach do to an organization I mean it can really cripple an organization and you figure this is a scary thing too is a medical record is 20 times more valuable right now than a social security and a credit card on the dark net so it is so profitable to really gain that information and you know thinking like a hacker my number one place is going to be let's hit these healthcare organizations because these guys aren't really focusing a lot on technology they really have you know a lack of cybersecurity awareness the technology is legacy these are the places that these guys are eating up. And you figure most of the breaches that have happened have been healthcare organizations and they can really cripple a, a, an org. And the problem is, is we have data that's basically life saving. We have data that's critical to individuals. And if your information is stolen, that could be your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your family members. I mean, we really need to focus and we really need to keep our information as secure as possible, and we really need to change that security culture. 100% agree. All right, before I let you go, one final question, a little off the wall. If you could be a superhero, would you rather be Batman or Superman, and why? I'd rather be Batman, man, because my son loves Batman. He says, boo, Superman, so that's the reason why. <laughs> Fair enough. Always a good answer. The gadgets are, hey, who doesn't want the Batcave, right? That's right. <laughs> well, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.